Hey, what's up guys? Jark here. We're at the Holly River again. Uh, today is very different than the last time I was here because there's no one here. This is awesome. I got here early in the morning. I'm by myself. So, pretty cool. But unlike last time, I have not stocked recently. So we'll see if I can actually catch some fish because last time I was here, it was literally perfect conditions and everything. It was even warm, so it was pleasant. Today, I haven't stocked for a long time, and it's cold. Not that the fish really care if it's cold or anything. What I care is it's like 20 out here, and it's April. It's like April 3rd, I think. So <laughs> it'll be interesting, but hopefully I catch some fish. Oh, the, the camera just adjusted, or it got really light in here. <laughs> Either way, let's go see if I can catch some fish. It's cold. So I'm fishing here. Just at the first hole. And my daggone line keeps freezing. I mean, it's like 20s. It keeps freezing on me. And I keep thinking I got a fish or something because it won't reel in. But it's actually just frozen line. If you guys have watched my previous videos, you'll know this hole right here. Well, I've caught, first of all, I've caught a lot of fish here, but also we used to raft this. Yeah, that one, I'm trying to think, when we went camping, you know, the camping video, we uh, we put rafts in right here and went all the way down this into the hole. Yeah, throw back to that video, that was a good time. This being this cold, this is not necessarily a good time so far, but we'll get on this. That's a decent fish. All right, boys and girls. It's been a cold morning. <laughs> but I caught a fish. Look how cool this is. <laughs> Got me a fish. Wow. All right, guys, got me a nice little rainbow out of this hole. Let's let him go. If I don't slip. All right, buddy. There he goes. Perfect little rainbow trout. If you guys have watched the videos, we also went down this little raft. <laughs> it was pretty treacherous, but it was a great time. I've caught so many fish out of this hole. Pretty cool. So I'm straight back here and a couple casts in, pulled one out. Love it. You know, I've made somewhat of a habit of this now. At least the past couple of years. During Easter, I come out here and fish by myself. I think even last year it was on Easter Day because uh, cause of COVID. Couldn't go home, so. I came out here, I came out here and fished and I was alone. And I'll tell you what, you know, I love Easter. I love being around family and stuff, but it was the first year that I really kind of thought about the meaning of it. And well, of course I've th thought about the meaning of it, but it really sunk in. I was just sitting out here by myself in nature, thinking about the suffering that Jesus went through dying on the cross for for us you know and then rising on Easter day so that we can rise and be with him or forgive forgiveness of sins and for so many years Easter it was just a holiday where you know we just ran around seen family and had fun, went to church, of course, and all that stuff. But I'll tell you what, being out here alone, just sitting there thinking about it, it was definitely the, the first Easter where I really 
I guess, celebrated Jesus. And so that's exactly what I'm doing today too. That's what makes today such a great day. One of my favorite fishing days. Catching fish is just a bonus. But being out here in the Lord's creation, celebrating Jesus, that's what it's all about. So maybe I'll go catch some more fish. See where we end up. <laughs> Got me another one. Oh yeah. Got me another one. This time in a very small hole. I just barely had to cast it in and caught this little little guy. And he's off. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Caught me a fish. How cool is that? A little chunk. Absolute chunk. Fish number three of the day. Same place I caught the last one. He's a little chunk of a fish. She's fat. Or she, maybe. Fish is pregnant. I don't know. Oh, slippery. Put him back over here. Whoa. There he goes. <laughs> Same spot. I keep having a lot of bites right there in that little uh, slow water. Pretty cool. You know what's funny? I thought that there was no service out here. <laughs> but for some reason, even though it's a Saturday, I've gotten multiple work calls while I'm out here trout fishing in the middle of the woods. I didn't think there was any signal. So I've been on the phone for work <laughs> instead, of, instead of catching fish. But hey, that's all right. It's easy stuff to, to figure out, so. No problems there, but I just thought it was funny that I've never had service here in my life until today, and I just happen to have stuff going on with work. So I guess maybe it's a good thing I can help uh, help out. But yeah, hopefully I can get back to ripping some fish in here. Goodness, this hole's looking pretty today. Wow, some green water. Looks like we're at the Bahamas. The West Virginia Bahamas right here. All right, pretty solid day of trout fishing, I must say. I caught a couple fish. Had some good, good convos and some work stuff. That's all right. It's actually a beautiful day. It went from 20 degrees to like, I don't know, whatever it is now, 30. <laughs> yeah, it's still boy freezing, I think. It was, what took me the longest was every couple of casts I had to uh, chip the ice out of the eyelets of the uh, of the pole. So that's how you know you're really fishing when you got to do that. So definitely an experience today, but well worth it to come down here and catch a few fish. So yeah, make sure if you enjoy these videos to like and subscribe so that way you can see more because I, I plan on... Uh, doing quite a, quite a few more fishing videos this year and a few uh camping ones too so we'll see how that goes but thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next one look at those daggone elk